Bring in market watcher David Barnson. How long can this rally go on for, David? Any opinion? I think that the rally, in terms of the full bull market, not this little short-term window of a rally, but as far as the bull market we're in, it will end when all bull markets end. When there is so much euphoria, we have a blow-off top, and I'm fond of the expression, when the last dumb dollar comes into the rally. Are we close? Uh, right now, I... I I don't. I think that we're in the seventh inning-ish. I think that that's language you hear from others as well. And I don't mean to have a consensus view, but I happen to really believe it. I think that there is a fair amount of time that can continue going uh, around the business investment taking place in this country. And the fact that so much of this rally, Stuart, so much of this bull market since 2009 was so tepid. It was so muted in terms of the economic recovery that we had during the Obama administration. Is there anything out there that's cheap? Uh, and that's a, maybe a strange question, but I see the stock market is up 20,000 points on the Dow since the low of March 2009. That's carried prices way up there. Is anything left that's cheap? Okay, so let me answer your question about what's cheap. But first, the, the market had been at 14,000 and went down to 6,000 and then didn't get back to 14,000 until 2013. So if you look at it that way, the market's up a ton, but when it got back to where it was, in other words, Stuart, that 20,000 points, you're including 8,000 points or 7,000 points of recovery. You see what I'm saying? Yep. So okay. really, I, I think you have to kind of look at it in full context. And right now, what's cheap? Well, it's not FANG. Okay, and it's probably not the entire S&P 500 index, especially market cap weighted. I think emerging markets are cheap. I think Japan is cheap. But here in the United States, I think energy infrastructure and old tech is cheap. Wait, wait, what, what's old tech? Are you talking like IBM? I am, I am talking IBM. I'm also talking Cisco and Intel. But if you look at those companies that power the kind of uh, technology needed to create new tech that are the chips and the servers and are sort of that boring, if you will, back office of a technology ecosystem. I think these companies have this incredible free cash flow, incredible balance sheets, and, and really reliable management. They're stable companies. But then they're, they're suited for growth engines in new dynamic markets. You know, David, you don't seem very excited. Here we are sitting on 100 record highs for the Dow Industrials since Trump was elected, and you, you, you're just not uh, <laughs> excited. What's wrong with you, lad? I work so hard to contain my excitement every day, especially when I come on your show. I need to be poised, Stuart. <laughs> Whatever you say, David. Come on back. To, by the way, we don't want poise. We want excitement, okay? So come on back <laughs> soon. Thanks, David. Appreciate you. Thank you. Will do.